What's up guys, it's your boy Legend Lore, and today we are diving back into Wizard 101, but we're doing something a little different. First of all, I need to keep my voice down a little bit because it is currently 1.32 a.m. <laughs> but I was really excited for this, to the point that I didn't want to wait till tomorrow morning. Also, I have other stuff tomorrow, but irrelevant. So today, we're actually going to do um, a few things differently. First... Instead of hopping on to Carrick immediately, we will be going to Carrick, don't worry. It is predominantly going to be Carrick. We're just going to hop on to Alex really quick for one thing first. Um, so, I found out recently... Ew, people. <laughs> oh, I just switched realms right before I logged off last time. Um, doesn't matter, we're not actually... So, I found out... I sped through all of the introduction stuff to the pets... Uh, when we played through it on Carrick, but When I used to play even like so if you look here at Maya, she has an 82 pedigree an absolute perfect pedigree is 100 So 82 is pretty good um, If you look like 72 um, 32 that's a first-gen pet and so anyway the point being 82 is really high pretty solid um for high pedigree pets, two high pedigree pets hatching, it used to be a little over 40,000 gold. And as we saw last time when Carrick sold everything, he had like 17,000 gold just from that. So I was like, okay, getting to the, the hatch range won't be too hard. So I hopped onto Alex off camera. Um, oh my gosh, director, he's very loud. Um, I hopped onto Alex to find some good pets because i talked about this briefly but what my plan has always been for Carrick, i didn't want to just take like you know like a pet that's already mega and huge and just give it to Carrick because i felt like that was you know that's that's a little cheeky but what i was always planning on doing was taking two pets from alex moving them to Carrick, having hatching with them on Carrick moving those two pets back to Alex, and then Carrick keeps the egg, and we raise that pet on Carrick. Um, what I forgot they added is this, which is a hatching kiosk, which if you go into it, you can literally, first of all, look for any pet you want. Um, you know, as you can see, there's nine just life school pets. If you go to all pets, there's 62 pages of, of pets available. Then you pick one, you open it up, and you can just like click through here and look at all these different ones that people have. But what you can also see is they have drastically, drastically increased hatch cost. Um, and again, the big thing with a pet, yeah, I <laughs> somehow I have a pet a quest from him, and I'm I'm not gonna do that. Um, what I realized was the thing about a pet. Yes, there is, obviously, there's a whole task in getting a good one, training it up, getting a good one, hatching with another good one or another species that you want, and so on and forth and so forth until you get a really good pet. But that used to be the big piece of it, is like you would have to take your pet that you wanted to hatch, go into the hatchery, go to crowded realms, and look around until you found somebody with the pet you wanted, or the ability you wanted. Um, you could never find both in a blue moon. You maybe could. And then when you once you did, you were like, hey, do you want to hatch? And almost always they were like, no, you're not what I'm looking for. Um, which I believe is part of the reason why they added the kiosk. And the kiosk is really, really cool. But my ultimate point being, they have made breeding and selective breeding both for the species and the abilities, a lot easier. And it's also just really, really time consuming. Like, I, I am not exaggerating when I say I have spent probably weeks of time. And by that, I mean conglomerate hours that I have played. I probably have weeks of hours logged just on pets, maybe months. And if we're talking like actual playtime, not just conglomerate time, I've spent months, if not years, working on pets to get where what I want. And I'm right now I'm pretty freaking close with that's the wrong button. 
For some reason, pets is I. On Alex, Maya is pretty much what I've ultimately wanted. She has May cast Fairy, May cast Healing Current, um, May cast Unicorn, and then the higher level life damage, and then just the higher level normal damage. Um, which is pretty close to like an optimal pet in my mind. And then I just love the life Leviathan. I think it's really cool. Um, it does, that, thank you Maya, that's perfect. That's it's like um, fidget movement. Uh, it's casting is kind of lame. It just opens its mouth and shakes its head, but whatever. Um, but I really, really like this pet, and I think it's great on life wizards. And I have about 40 of them from all the breeding trying to get it up. So all of this explanation, we're six minutes into the video, just to be like, what I am decided to do is instead of wait, also, I don't know if you know this, but when you transfer a pet from shared bank to you, it drains all your green energy. Um, that way you can't just create ultimate unlimited wizards, move them, train, move it back, anyway. There's a whole rhyme and reason to it. All of this to say, I am going to do a hatch on Alex, move and move that egg to Carrick, and we are going to move forward with that egg. Um, because it will hatch as a baby, and then it will be on us on Carrick to raise it up, and hopefully get those good abilities. Um, so, and we're not going to be breeding with Maya either. That, what? You can buy this? Oh, you can buy the recipe. 250? Tapestry to the hatchery? Sorry, that's new. That's really cool. Not what I meant to click on. I meant to go into a personal hatcher. So, the two pets that we are going to be hatching is Prince Rascal and Lily. So if you look, Lily has Maycast Fairy, Maycast Healing Current, and Maycast Unicorn. And then Prince Rascal has May cast Fairy, May cast Healing Current, and the stronger life damage. So what happens when you hatch is these two pools mix together. And I believe, at least the way it used to be, is all the abilities that are unlocked are guaranteed to go to the new pet and then have a higher chance of unlocking again. There's also, you know, derby abilities, which we really don't care about because I don't foresee us doing derby games. And if we do, like, you know, these are okay. Um, you can also can't tell they're from the same breed line because they also have very, very similar derby abilities. But, oh, I guess the kiosk cost is just really expensive. Oh, well, that's actually half the cost. Um, the point is they've redone the hatching costs, so we're going to hatch these two. Um, we just double check, because one of the reasons I'm filming this at 1.30 in the morning is yesterday I went to do a different hatch for a fire pet, just as a test, and through a, a series of about four events, I hatched the wrong pets, and you only have one hatch timer, and it's every 24 hours you can pay crowns to reset it quicker, but I would rather not do that. So, all of that to be like, all right. It's Prince Rascal and Lily. May cast Fairy, May cast Energizing Battery, May cast Unicorn. These two are repeats, and then life damage. That is what we want. Yes. Life Blue Mage, Egg, hatches in one hour. We're not going to wait for that. Um, over on Carrick, anyway. So, now we're just going to go home. And you'll get a glimpse of just the obscene amount of bullshit I have on this account. Uh, don't <laughs> look at those. Um, and to the bank, backpack, pets, it was Sadie. 79 pedigree, that's good. Because the two we hatched were a 79 and a 78. So a 79 is really good. Um, you can see that it's a, we know it's a life leviathan because both of its parents were life leviathans, but you can double check that by seeing it has the same may give spell. Uh, but we're going to move this to shared bank. I don't think the egg is in the hatching kiosk, but thanks for the warning. Um, and now we are going to go jump on Carrick, the person you guys actually wanted to see. Um... 
And also, yesterday when I was on Alex prepping pets and making sure I had everything, uh, I picked up two other gifts for Carrot from Alex that I don't feel bad about giving him. Which are, well, I'm not gonna, oh, we need to do our gardening first, because like I said, when we pull that egg out, we are gonna lose all our energy. So we need to do gardening first. Um, oh no. Okay, there's pests, but there's not a lot of needs. That, that's actually really good. So we go to treasure card, pest zapper. We do only have eight. That's annoying. I specifically wanted to buy ten. Because I have a thing about that. Oh well. Um. Okay, you need water. And then the four of you need pollination. Doesn't let you switch until the spell's ready. Um, okay. Mm, sorry, I had a bunch of popcorn and some drink, uh, Diet Coke right before this, so. I'm a little, little burpy. But, are you... Yeah, okay. I'm so mad about this. <laughs> and I am sure all of you are really mad about that. Because I was even like, I'll go do it, and then I just didn't. So, that's on me. Also, for those of you that really like Bruno, I'm sorry. I did express a few different times I never had any intention of keeping Bruno as our main pet. Um, I did say that many different times. I oh, he is ready to harvest. Okay. All right. Frost cat and cattail. We got two misfortune cookies. A fire cat and cattail. Frost cat and cattail. We got three. Whoa. I that must be a rare harvest. And we got a dandelion and a spring. Plus one special event point. I don't know what that means. Oh. Let's see what the Gravelum quest is. Today's assignment is to get a reading by visiting this location. Good luck. Okay. I don't think we need to actually I think we can probably just walk by it. We're gonna quickly unequip Bruno. We will put him with the rest of our goodest boys. Um, we got a bushy palm tree. We're gonna put that there. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, so plants are taken care of. We're gonna run in. Um, I'm trying not to yawn, and now that I've verbalized it. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, I knew about that. Um. Sadie, move to backpack. It will empty your energy. Yes, that is fine. Now, I believe for five fifty five hundred gold, do we even have that? We have eight grand, eighty five hundred. So we'd have three grand left, and we're about to level up to new gear. Okay, here's the thing. We should almost definitely level up this episode. We are going to go to Saphir's Tower. Um, so I'm going to just do that as I explain. Um, we should almost definitely level up to level 20. When we hit level 20, we are going to go upgrade our gear. At that point, we will see how much we will sell everything else we have. I haven't forgotten about the pack. I do remember. Um, we'll see how much we have. Uh, and we'll definitely rename the pet. And depend- well, but I really want to hatch it. <laughs> but it shouldn't take us that long, and I think the price maybe goes down depending on how much time is left. And we do have some stuff to sell. Um. Right, Saphira's Tower. Um, or it's pronounced differently. I don't remember exactly how it's pronounced. It's like Sapphira's or something, anyway? I don't know. It's, I did see those cattails. I am being strong. I am choosing to not go get them. Well, that's cool. And we did that. We don't have a location set. Oh, well. Bonus. Uh, I really want to... What is this? 
we're not a member and i don't have like a huge desire to be like there are good buffs and if you haven't already bought 80 percent of the game worldwide i would highly recommend membership um just because in a lot of ways it is better unless you're going to be playing for years and years and know you're going to keep coming back to the game in which case un permanently unlocking the areas is obviously superior um you son of a bitch uh, and it's not even available although they did switch out a pack the chirid i think that's how you say it the the weird horse pack is available now and i think oh shoot i don't remember which one left oh that's cool um let's go ahead and jump in to this once we're in crocotopia we will do our pack so let's because i think we go to hordes and packs there was a new one it is help me look where is it it said it was back is it not was i lied to I was lied to. I don't believe that. But it still says 21, so I guess the other pack didn't leave yet. You know, not a good question, good thing. Um, now we will pull up our number generator. Generate number 20. Oh, I didn't wait for OBS. I'm sorry. So we, I will number 14 and number 20. Because, oh no, we have to open extra packs. Oh no. I... I'm a little shit. I know that. I'm not going to apologize for it, though. Okay, so Pandemonium is 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The Road Warrior Pack. Ooh. This is one of the mounts that is 50% speed instead of 40. We got Rare Boots. Uh, fire Damage. Uh, and Accuracy, 3% Incoming Help. That's not terrible. We'll look at our current boots. Um, those two are going to clash so bad. And then pack 20. The Marleybone Motorist Pack. Boop. Oh, more shoes. Uh, and those ones are useless to us because they're um, death and myth. We don't use death or myth spells. So I know we won't be putting those bad boys on. Thank you. How much space do we have? Oh, we have plenty of space. Uh, yeah, okay, wow. That price has already gone down 400 gold. Um, so I think by the time we level up, we should be just fine. Sorry, I have a... I'm like, there's things on the side. There need to not be things on the side. <laughs> I feel like my jowls are really like... <laughs> today. Oh, I fucked up my headphones. Um, I feel like the, the fat of my cheeks is really wobbly today. Oh, do we have any other? Um, I do want to do this. We're not going... Well, I need to collect stone and parchment anyways. Because I sold it all when we needed it. I'm sure people were you know, giving me the business about doing that. <laughs> Which, fair, I totally deserve it. That was a really dumb thing to do. We had a crafting quest. And at no point did I go, hey... Maybe I should look at that before I sell all of my reagents. So, like, that's totally on me. But. Hello. These artifacts had better work. These crocs are amassing an army. The Nerini nobles just keep coming. They sure Say do. There, can you do me a favor? I sure can. I need to fill out this information sheet about the enemy. But I fear that I am no match for the magical creatures here. Okay. Would you be willing to go up against them and write down their strengths and weaknesses as battle tactics? Oh, boy. You can't expect to go to war without all the paperwork in order. As a child, did not get that. As an adult. Why are you so small, bud? Why are you so little? Why are you so small, bud? Silver chest. We're grabbing that bitch. Uh, as a child, I didn't get that. As an adult, it's like, wow, that is... Um, do not want to get blowed up. Pick one. Ah, shit. Damn it. 
Okay. Ah! I lost my finger placement on the keys. Where's the freaking four? Oh, I need that timer. There's a four. I need a five. There's a five. Timer. Okay. That game stresses me out so much. Oh, I didn't grab the other stuff from Alex. Oops. Why is that open? I must have hit it by accident. Well, we'll do that when we do our gear and stuff. Um... Thanks. Don't let me forget. Like the crocs are trying to break out of here. I'll absolutely we'll forget. The line with these artifacts. You sure will, I bud. I from Amanda that the Nurini gained some of their power from flame gems they keep in the palace. Makes sense. Didn't we go them? grab those sure for a, like a... Would be reduced. So, we need to remember if we siege it like that. But that's gonna be a fight. Like, very, very likely. Run! Yeah, I think we can snickety snake right here. That is not what I wanted. Oh, we actually clicked. It. That's cool. Okay, sorry. Half of this is just me being like, oh, that's cool. I don't remember that. Or, that's pretty. They updated it. Um, oh, this one's in the trail. That's nice. Hello. Also, not to shit on his plan, I don't know. If the gems that are laying on the floor are the ones currently giving the crocs their power. <laughs> like, just a mild observation of... Oh, we need to cross the freaking street. That is one thing I will say about this, is it definitely... Even... As a child, I was like, okay, time to cross the street. Um, really puts the fear of God in you about crossing the street. Um, hello. At last! Once we use these artifacts, we can stop the army. I sure hope so. See there. I've been waiting for some reinforcements to show up, but they are way overdue. I surmise that these flame guardians are keeping the troops away. Probably. But would you be good enough to give a few of these overgrown campfires the toss? I think with a few less of their numbers, my boys can get through. It's a children's game. I'm sure that's a completely valid phrase. All I can think about is, can you toss these flame guardians salad? Which <laughs> is not. It's not what he said at all. <gasps> we need that because I sold all of it. Oh, I'm probably getting yelled at about the teleporters. Thanks. For You're this. right. I just hope I can hold out against all the Narini warriors. Well, you, you sound hey, dope. I saw you in action out there, and you look like you I could put those Narini warriors in their place. I've barely made a dent on their defenses, and it's likely because they have some magic scrolls on their side. Yeah. I have heard that they carry the scrolls of the Narini on them for protection. If you were to take some of these away from them, we'd have the advantage over those overgrown lizards. Care to take some out? For sure. Here's the other thing about our gear. I am stuck. If we get... Because the boots I don't know about. If we end up getting good gear from different packs. Let's see if there are any other... Because, yeah. Fight, fight. Grand Arena. Oh, I think that's on the island. So, we're not there yet. So... Oh! This is a talk quest. And we can take the teleporter. I'm not a fool. Because we want to get as many, all the talking quests done. Because a lot of them, as you've seen, double up on the enemies we need to fight. So we can save time back, young and be upset <laughs> about your voice. The won't be getting out of this pyramid if we can help it. <laughs> we may have slowed the crocs down, but I can't just leave my soldiers out there. They'll be overwhelmed. They sure will, My higher ups won't like this, but please, defeat yeah, the see. warriors and the flame guardians. The my Flame Guardians is now chance. three quests for one. Ah, sorry, my eye is twitching. Probably because it's 1.30 in the morning and I should be in bed. Say that. Oh, and here's the second one for these guys. Paper. Those brutish desert golems pilfered our food supply. <gasps> hoping to drive our troops out. Still, nothing stops our strapping young lad from doing their duty. I love this guy. Even so, this being is... hungry 
will slow our boys down. Uh, Can't do uh, battle on an empty stomach. Will you care to wrestle with some of those frightful sand monstrosities? I sure will. Um. Oh, right. We already collected the gems. Was this one of the guys that was by a teleporter? You know what? It might be. Let's check. So we came back on the green one. So if he, he is a genius. Stone. Sorry, again, I'm trying to be a little bit quieter. Um, I live in an apartment complex, so I'm not usually shouting anyways. But... To diminish the Rini's powers? Brilliant. Soon we'll have those reptiles on the run. We anyway, sure will. I'm not sure these flame gems are safe down here. If I have these on me, I think I will be in danger. Yeah, probably. We are sure to try to get them back. I could not hold them all off for long. <laughs> I think it would be most prudent if you were to take these outside the pyramid up to Sergeant Major Talbot at the Oasis. He'll know what to do with them. All right, that quest can wait. Um, so let's see. We've got Flame Guardians and Narinis. All three Flame Guardians, Narinis. Okay, so Flame Guardians are three, the others are two, but still, that's a lot of different quests to just beat the shit out of all of these guys. So we might as well just go in order. Start with the Desert Gar Guard. Start with the Desert Golems. Um, and now I'm like trying to remember, how do you play this game again? Um, why do these look... So Sorry, I was just suddenly like, these look different, why? Uh, like, from each other, not... Um, you know what? They're balanced, so we can just... Balance... Balance enemies have weird resists, and I'm not gonna take the time to look these up. I'll just have to try to remember off of what happens. Because technically, like, balance wizards... Especially lower level balance wizards... Have storm, fire, and ice on their side... Like, they can do spells that are one of those, or all three of those, or whatever. Um, I don't want to waste my pips on that. I should be fine. Uh, and then often they're boosted. You boost against balance with life and death. Um, and maybe myth. I don't know. Again, this is pulling from, like, nine years ago of knowledge. Um... And when they when you get high enough, uh, they did in new. Come on. Uh, fire. Sorry, I, I totally zoned out for a second. Um, they do add some balance spells that do uh, life, death, and myth instead later on. But I got a power pip. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. Let's get it! Just... <sighs> My sleep schedule's such shit. Like, I'm not any more tired than I would be in the middle of the day or in the morning. Um, time is meaningless. <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned just because I think I deleted most, if not all, of my healing spells. He should die on this, but... I'm still a little concerned. Um, also, if you're cur cur if you're curious, the reason I haven't looked at the boots yet is we're so close to leveling up to a uh, a new gear level, anyways. That my thinking was just like, let's just wait for a second till we level up, and then once we're that's the other reason I'm doing the golems first is they had a a solo quest attached to them. I can't believe I maneuvered that. Um, oh, this is the guy we're supposed to hand it into. Oops. Uh, no, no, not for this. And I mean, an extra pip won't hurt. Uh, but it's just so when we hit level 20 and go upgrade our gear, I will look at the boots then as well. Ka-chow. Give me that pick. Yes. Um, okay. We're gonna delete one of those. We're gonna delete one of those. Uh, I, 
A high roll with our buff might kill? I don't think so. A low roll definitely won't, though. So we're going to throw this on first. And regardless, we would need to save up a few pips for the second spell anyway, so really, it doesn't cost us that much to do. Drop that, drop that. Cast this. Um, did I even need to fight? I don't know what I said, or is he like this because I only needed to fight two? I was... Maybe I am being affected by how late it was, because... I legit didn't even think about that until just now. It's okay, I think the fight, all three, it was... No, it was two of each on that one. Am I doing this fight completely unnecessarily? I bet I am. That sucks. That really sucks, dude. Uh, we'll do this in just one spell or something. Um... Ah. Well, that sure showed me. Um, at this point, we have four pips, so if we Nature's Wrath, assuming there's no fizzles, we can Nature's Wrath Leprechaun back to back. Um, I guess it's not semantics. I was going to say semantics, but it's not because it's two spells that can fizzle versus a trap that's 100%, then one spell that can fizzle. So if you really want to get nitty gritty with the math, it's not semantics, but oh my god, he has four pips. It's okay, I don't think he knows anything. Hopefully. I also should have deleted some cards just in case I fizzled, and I didn't. So like, we're not gonna die, but I, oh, we fucking fizzled. I am not playing well, but that's not necessarily anything new. At this point, do we just play the fizzle odds anyways? No, I'll play it smart. I kind of wanted to just for shits and giggles, but I'll, pl I'll play it smart. I'm so upset with myself. I didn't need to do this fight. I'm an idiot. Maybe I am a little more tired. Considering I just said that a minute ago, I probably am. Um, fun. I'm looking going to bed after this. I won't. I I know myself. I won't. Um, hello. Splendid! You retrieved our biscuits! It's hard to do battle, especially when you don't have any biscuits for tea. I Jove, I think you've saved this entire campaign. Cheers! Alright. Why can't I move? There oh. are still many Narini warriors and go. Narini flame guardians that need a sound beating. Go and battle more of them. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, he is the guy in the Oasis. Okay. So I'm not an idiot for that. I'm just an idiot in other ways. Flame guardians, two. Narini warriors, two. Three, three, three. Okay. I think let's just do the, the flame guardians because... I feel like it. Oh, they're this way. My bad. Um, it does loop around or something in some way, I think. I just couldn't tell you how it how it how it does that. How them it's the it ever were. I love that that vine and I try to make fun of it all the time. And every time I get into trying to say it when I realize I don't remember anything that kid actually says. <laughs> Which is kind of fair, because it is just gibberish nonsense, but... Oh, right. No fire spells, they're fire. A little concerned they both chose to... They, they do that sometimes, I guess. Sorry, my eye. I think I got some popcorn salt in it. Um, just a smidgen, obviously. Because if it was more, I would be much more vocal about it. But... Why would... <laughs> I'm not going to question the AI. Um, also, those are some of the strongest spells they know, so... But the cool news is I think we're almost done with the, the fire area of Krakatopia. Um, goodbye, goodbye. It's all we can do, so we might as well. Um... Because that is the thing, is like Wizard City very distinctly has each of those streets. Um, but Krakatopia has 
the the temple which is fire the like arena tomb thingy which is ice it has an official name i just don't remember what it is um and then the Krakos sphinx which is storm um or no i think the Krakos sphinx is what the ice place is called and then it's the tomb of storms or tomb of souls or something is storm but i don't know the bottom line is it has three areas that are um, fire, ice, and then storm. Uh, and each of those areas obviously have several halls in them, but those halls kind of interconnect a bit more than Wizard City did. Um, and there's not quite as many, obviously. It's just you have the fire area, and that area has like the three halls, and an offshoot or something, and that same with the ice, and same with the storm. They each have a few halls. But basically, the world is defeated. <laughs> The world is divided into those three elemental areas and I think we're almost done with the fire area um, like don't get me wrong the fire area is cool too but the there's some really cool stuff in the ice area and then the storm area is so cool to me at least from what I remember and like the final dungeon in Crocotopia is in the storm area and I think it's super sick. Not the secret one that's like grub. That one's there too, but that one's just annoying. I actually don't remember <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Anything about that dungeon. Um, I don't even know if I bought it. I might have just done it once I became a member. Uh, so if we haven't bought it, we're gonna have to. And that's gonna be expensive and annoying. Because it's just the one dungeon. That might be good gear. Sorry, I'm going off on all these little tangents. Um, heck yeah. We are awesome. I'm just dropping some cards so we can hopefully draw another Nature's Wrath. Um, yeah, all of that rambling just be like, I think we're getting close to finishing the fire area. And I'm excited because that means we're making progress and I like the other areas. No. We did. We got it. We got him, baby. And if this fizzles, we have a second. One. But it didn't. Because we're magnificent. Um. But I think when we turn these in. We level up, right? Um, because we've got this. Oh, right. Both of these were... So now we have... Ah, damn it. I suck. Okay, yeah. Now we have three quests that are these. So let's actually go ahead and do this really quick. And then we'll just turn everything in and see where we get to. Come on. Also, because I don't remember what the next quests are once we through all three Nature's Wraths. That's kind of fun. Kind of shitty, but also kind of fun. Okay, we need to remember we have heal cards for treasure cards right now. Okay, this, I'm gonna be real. Totally forgot all about that. So we just need to do the two Narini Warrior fights. And then we can turn a lot of stuff in at once. Three Narini quests and the fire quest. We just, so we can turn in four quests once we do these two, two sets. There's the one quest that's just two, but the other two Narini warrior quests are to defeat three of them. So I am, I'm using my Bahrain. Um, oh, and I guess we, stone. I guess we did need to do three... Um, golems for the one quest so it wasn't for the quest I was trying to do but I think we did need to do that maybe maybe not maybe I'm just oh I get it you're a motherfucker okay <laughs> um, those are some nice sticks you got bud Ow. it's fine we have one spells that's all we need sorry I think I guess also my contact has been in for a long time now, so maybe that's what's happening. It's, it's just getting temperamental, because it does do that. Um, 
Also, 100% the plan is as soon as this ends while we're intangible, we're gonna- Oh no! I think there's stone both sides. Oh my god, there is. When we decide. Because I want it all. I want it now. Um. Hang on. We have to have got like the minimum roll on that. I wasn't even thinking about that, but I really should be in bed. I have a meeting at like eleven tomorrow. Okay, yeah. All right, we're gonna run for this one. Ah! Cause yeah, once we got to it, we were home free. And now. Go, 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 go. You only got one each time, but that's okay. Alright. And once we do this, we're gonna go turn in a bunch of quests. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Just, they went first. I... I like going first, actually. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. It's... That was a lot for an M. Um, I need to work on my chair. It's very squeaky, squeaky. Um, probably because it's old and for a gaming chair, really cheap. But, you yeah, know, that's what it is. That's how it is, is what I meant to say. That's what it is. Um. Yes, that w no, it wasn't. He has three HP. Oh. oh well, I mean, like we needed the rounds anyway for the pips, <laughs> but that's still really obnoxious. Because I was like, oh, that's not enough. And I was like, oh wait, it was. I killed him, and then he didn't fall over. A tragedy in three parts. <laughs> oh well, yeet. Ah, uh -huh. die, you fool. Um, oh, we did get the power pip, nice. Uh, we don't have a trap, obviously. Uh, sorry if you could hear that, and that was... There's a filter on OBS that applies to my microphone, because I have a, a Blue Yeti, so it's super, super sensitive. But the filter on OBS is really good. The problem is it does filter out like very high noises sometimes. So like, it's actually the opener, unfortunately. But in an episode of, or in a video for Soul Silver, there's actually I'm a part where I'm very in a very high pitched voice, like I don't want to die, but very whiny. And the mic, the filter actually cuts a lot of it out because it's like oh this must be white noise um absolutely was not white noise but also if you watch the soul silver series as well that was a while ago by the time this comes out but if you're wondering why that intro is so choppy that's why uh the filter system was like that obviously is white noise it could not possibly be him wanting to speak Okay, there's so many hand-ins. Okay, you at the front. You, you. <laughs> well, I can't let that stand. That's an insult to my honor. We need... To... I said we were going to complete all four. And we're going to complete all four, damn it. That also really sucks. We've defeated four of them? And none of them have it? And we've all, er, I don't, ignore that statement. That statement was just, sorry, my eye is so freaking itchy. Um, but we've defeated four and we've only gotten two. Yeah, two. This isn't gonna kill, we don't have a trap on. Um, I guess I could have waited a turn. 
I'm not playing well, I'm sorry. Uh, so hopefully we get one from these two. Because we just need one more scroll. We can hand in all the quests. But I cannot let that challenge to my honor stand. I said we were going to do it, so we're going to do it. Yeet. That really sucked. Um, 109. We are going to drop that. Obviously, we're going to drop that. We're going to do that. Dude, where are my traps? Don't put that and take that out of context. Um, yeet. Ooh. <laughs> it's the wrong one, my guy. This is bullshit. Um. I hope we get a power pip. That'd be nice. Okay, you should be dead now, right? Yeah. Die. We did not get the power pip, but we did get the trap. So I think it's better to trap. Because if we don't, we need two pip spelled. Cut the grammar on that. If we didn't trap, we would need either two wand spells or leprechaun to kill, and we would have had no pips. So either way, that would have been two turns unless we got a power pip, which is unlikely, but possible. But if we spend one turn to trap, this... I guess I shouldn't even say that in Jinx myself, but this should kill, as long as we don't get a low roll. So. We got the low roll. Nice. But now it is just a wand spell really quick and we guaranteed kill. Um, <laughs> idiot. Ow. Oh, and it's gonna get one around, never mind. Perhaps I am the idiot. Yeet. Nice. That should actually kill. Now we're gonna run over here. It's all of them. There are different people. What are the odds I go to the one guy that wasn't doing asking for one of those quests? Okay, yeah. Sweet. <gasps> Resources. I got two, baby. Hello. By Jove, you've done it. It looks as if you punched a hole in their defenses. Now the other lads will be able to get here when the fighting starts. I wish Heck we yeah. had a whole brigade of spell slingers like you. We'd have won this battle with the Tots long ago. Cheers. Diego. I am ready to teach you new abilities to enhance your prowess in magical duels. Okay. I love taking you away from your studies, young wizard. Please come to visit me. <gasps> oh, because at level 20 you unlock Grizzleheim. So I think Ambrose is going to be like, hey, you can go to Grizzleheim if you want. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to finish Krakatopia first. Or, here's the other thing. Would you guys want... Um, what I could also do, because I don't mind the idea of you this... You took the scrolls of Narini away from those... I'd rather not uh, hang on to these scrolls of Narini. If I were to yeah, get we attacked, can do that. We're going back there in the minute anyways... Would you be good we are going to go do our gear. I'm just in the library. Um, handing in all of these quests. Is he the one by the the red? I know we have a hand into the guy right there as well, but I don't. Oh, there's a map. Okay, so we do want to be along this wall maybe did i do that wrong i did i read it backwards oh well um sorry i i got lost in my thoughts would you guys be interested if i actually just like on a saturday or something 
uh, went live and did like a um, you were almost a sleep the I needed on the enemy? of the first part of Grizzleheim. Really? Now I can come up with the best tactics for us to use. With this data, we're certain to defeat the Tuts. Because I would need to research and double check that I'm not wrong, but I think. Because there's Grizzleheim and then Winter Tusk. But I'm pretty sure Grizzleheim is actually split into two pieces itself. There's like part one that's level 20, and then part two is like level 40 or something. And then Winter Tusk is like level 50 or whatever. I don't know the exact levels, other than Grizzleheim is level 20. But I feel like there's a second half. There's a first half of Grizzleheim for level 20, and then a second half for later. So if that is the case, and there's only half of Grizzleheim available right now, would you guys have any interest in me, like, going live and doing almost like a sleep lock of it? Of it's like, you know, I play for like, just either until I finish the first half of Grizzleheim or I fall asleep. Um, I know that's a Pokemon thing. It makes a lot more sense there. And you can do it with other games. But would that be of any interest to you guys? Because, not going to lie, that sounds kind of fun to me. Huzzah! We really gave those procs what for? The soldiers are holding their own now. My men are doing all they can, but they can't fight forever. It's not enough to hold the army. We have to defeat it. Makes One sense. One request, young wizard. Defeat the Narini family. They have erected a spirit barrier to the throne room. Their names are Edo, Nebit, Shai, and Akori. Defeat them, and the barrier will be broken down. And then we go into that so we're going to mark our location we are going to go home first because I, I forgot about the other two things i got grabbed from alex so and i will expound on the sleep lock idea in a second um so if we go to shared bank we have a tapestry to the bazaar oh it can be crafted and we have the potion motion machine. And teleporters and some seeds, but we're not going to touch those. So, what I was thinking is we maybe move the starfish over here. And move that that way. And put the tapestry to the bazaar. Is that centered? It looks pretty centered. Um... And we'll move some other stuff around. We'll put that there, and then we come outside to where we teleport in. Uh, and maybe put the potion motion machine, like, right here. Uh, so then we teleport in when we go home right here we can do the gravel thing go do our pets this takes us inside to the bank and the crafting tables and the bizarre tapestry and then if we want to refill potions we can come right here to potion potion i think that looks nice um again i don't really feel bad about either of those items and then we can do this um because it's not like it's something you farm for it's just something you buy so if i have extras on alex that i'm not using why would i pay for it again on carrick you know uh, so first we're going to quickly sell everything that we have. Right, right. These are the two sets we got. Um, I can't get rid of this thing. I'm actually just going to... We'll feed it to Sadie when she hatches. It's, you can't get rid of it. Just period. I really want to get rid of it. Don't need that. Ooh, the sconces are cool. If they have some life sconces, we might buy those when we decorate our house. Uh, I don't really care about that or the water tower. Worn bed, no thank you. Um, rot. Not the bread bush, not the dandelion. The rotten beets, the alligator pear, silver trumpet vines. And then we can sell those. Uh, treasure card, sell, blurg. Uh, I don't know why we can't sell ice fuel, but whatever. Uh, we're never going to save up 
six pips for a storm spell, let alone try to draw it at that exact mo- I bought all of these, don't let me sell them. Um, and then we are no longer going to be selling these, because now I'm embarrassed about it. So firstly, let's look at the boots. Okay, so, if we were to put these on, it would be these ones. Our current boots only give us health, so an extra 6% fire damage and 1% accuracy across the board and triple the health and 3% heal, obviously those are worth it. So we'll actually really quickly sell... Oh. Can we go back? Okay. We'll sell those. So now... Let's go through our gear and see what we have. Usable by level, or actually, no, yeah. We're gonna do it this way. I already regret my life choices, but whatever. Okay, so 64 and three life damage. Okay, 90s. Okay, Cowl of Alacrity, excellent. 93 health, or 96 health and still three life damage. Let's see if there's anything superior to that. Like this, 96 health, three life damage, and five life shield. Five life shield isn't huge, but if it's an added bonus for free, we might as well take it. What is it called? Okay, I didn't actually look at the name. So, Dajal's Flowering Circuit. And if that's wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce things. Oh. But three power pip is a lot better than five life shield. So, Crocodile. Patra's cap. Oh, so that's supposed to be like the final world boss gear, but you can just buy it here. Um, we'll just do dark green for both. I mean, we're definitely gonna buy that. Yeah. Okay, robe. Uh, and what I should have done is start at the. Well, hang on. Okay, definitely not that. I don't really expect to find anything better than a crown pack thing at this level in the bazaar if we were talking about like farmable gear that might be something different we're still going to check though because like here's here's the thing there is this so it's like we could get life damage back and that would be sick but we'd lose the faint spell um we have half as much life we do get four percent generic shield which generic shield is really good or like this one we could do it for two percent power Hmm. This one though. See, it's four it's seven percent life defense though. That's not good. If it was generic defense, I would actually say, yeah, let's do that switch. But fuck. Okay. So here's the thing. If we did this, we do lose our four percent shield. Here's the flip side again. It's only four percent. This we gain four percent life damage, which I know I just said is only four percent. But when you're stacking a bunch of 4% together, that matters. That's the only defense we have. We would lose a little bit of HP, but we get 3% power pip. And we do lose 4% incoming heal, and we lose the faint spell. I know I just said that it's about the faint spell. But I kind of... Because that's the other thing. Is this robe... Sorry, I'm pointing with my thingy, so you can't see it, because I can't move it. This robe is the level 10 gear robe. If we pull later a level 20 gear robe... It will be superior enough that we'll probably want to switch. But for now, I think we might actually switch out the crown pack robe. Because I really think I actually, overall stats-wise, would prefer that right now. So now here's the big question. Are there boots that are better? Because keep in mind, we don't have... Yeah, these boots don't have life damage. But they do have a lot of HP, and you could argue, since we're switching this at the same time, these boots are covering the life HP we get for switching out the robe. Now, there's no way, because I don't think any level 20 wands give a pip. Oh, they do. But three generic damage as well? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're not switching the wand. Uh, the, the Athame. Um... Also, the reason I go back and start here is just so I have a, a frame of reference. 
Oh, we lose 75 health. I don't care about mana at this point. We have so much. Um, but we lose 5%... Or we lose 75 health. But 5% power pip and 7% outgoing heal. Which when we heal ourselves, it's outgoing, but then it's coming back in. So that still counts. So that might actually... Because that's the thing. It's part of the, about the part of the game is building up, making up... <laughs> part of the game is having a balanced build. So we're actually going to keep that in mind. Because that... Now what would be great is if we had a... So yeah, the Widow's Engraved Athame. What would be great is if we had a Athame that had health and power pip. Even at the expense of mana. It's... Okay. Like that. But the seven... Is 35 HP worth the 7% incoming heal? I think no. Honestly. Eh. Honestly, I'm at... Oh. Oh, that one's actually really nice. Um, okay, so... Because you also have to look at opportunity cost, right? So, because now it's not switching out 75 health, it's switching out 96 health. So it's basically 100 health worth 5 power pip and 7 incoming heal. Because the other thing is, again, I'm pointing with my pinky, sorry. The Widow's Engraved Athame only has locked sockets, and you have to pay crowns or have a socket wrench, neither of which we're going to do for our level 20 gear. Whereas this does have a tier already unlocked, which right now we only have like the 5 HP crystal, but, and I guess from level 20 to 25 or whatever. I don't know how much better sockets we're even going to get. Probably not great. But is 5% power pip worth 100 HP? Mm. I'm going to ultimately go with no on this one. Oh, crap. We're out of money. Um, let's just look at rings, though, see if there's one we want to buy. So we do have some other stuff we can sell. If we are careful, we can still sell some reagents. Okay, same thing with, like, this, right? We lose health but get power pip. But at this level, is that worth it? Because obviously, when we've got 6,000 health, an extra 100 doesn't matter. But right now, where we only have 1,500, that 10% or that 100 HP matters. Sorry, I couldn't think of... So Jewel of Liveliness... It's not a ton more, but it doesn't have a different socket circle, so that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah, Crypt Scavenger Circle, though. Um, 96 again. Yeah, we want the Crypt Scavenger Circle, so let's see if we can get a little bit more money. I didn't really... Here's the thing. With a challenge rating like that, I just don't think we're ever going to grow these. Um, agave leaves. That's not worth much. Cattails. Let me just double check what we needed for the rings. Okay, parchment and stone. So everything but parchment and stone. Well, and that. <sighs> Spellments are in the way. We just straight up do not have a lot of money. We're going to sell one of them. I don't know what you use shocked keys for. Like, is it even worth it? Is it important? Does it matter? I don't know. And we never will. Oh, we have pet snacks we can sell. That'll get us a little bit of muns. But for some reason, I need to be on. Ooh, that's a lot of muns. I maybe shouldn't have sold that, but who cares? I sure don't. Um. I 
I know we probably can't get a lot of money for- wait. Oh. Um, and actually spell deck is more important than the ring at the moment. So. <gasps> 30 versus 18 and we can buy it. Oh, hang on. This might be better though. So max copies four, 35 and 30. Yeah, this is just better. And it's tons. <gasps> 40? 35, 40, 12. 40. Why would we why would you ever not buy the deck of chivalry? Again, I know I probably can't get much if anything for it, but we might as well. Oh, actually. Sorry, I just suddenly was like, do I? The answer is yes, I do. Not that. Well, how much was the ring? Fuck. Okay, we're gonna run and sell a few other things. We have no muns. We have no muns. Which is bad, because we also don't have... Uh, because I don't have the ring on, it actually looks like we've lost help, right? Help. Help. Right now. Well, and we did lose health with the robe. Because we... Basically cut our health in half for that life damage. So... No. So, yeah, oh, well, we dropped like 60 HP. But for life damage and power pip, I still. Well, here's the thing. We're never going to use these. So even though they are a crown item, I'm gonna sell them. Why can't you sell this? Um. Antique deck. Let's go to the house guy and see if he'll buy some plants from us. I want that ring. Um, oh my, we we're pushing time. I'm sorry. I'm just moseying about, I guess. Um, Avalon weapon rack, 188. Silver trumpet vines. Alligator pair. Okay, we have enough for the ring. Specifically, just the ring. Nothing else. We have no money. <laughs> um, how much does the boots do not match at all? But the hat and the robe look like the same piece of the set, so where are the boots of this set? Excuse you. Uh, we want rings. Usable. Level. This one. Thank you. Could you imagine if I just accidentally turned around and sold it? I would be so mad. Okay, so now we need to go buy... <gasps> she hatched normally! So, let's look at... It. Uh, they... Okay. Okay, that's... One of these is good, because one of these is fairy. I don't know about the other. Alright, we just got those. Happiness is at 50, but both of those snacks are big enough. I don't want to feed them for happiness. Plus, I think if you train, happiness increases anyways, doesn't it? Maybe not. Um, sorry, now I'm just rambling. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, you can't dye those. But we can 
We do have enough money to rename our Leviathan. And I... Roxy, not bad. Um, what shall we name her? Sorry, I suck with names. I'm so indecisive. I kind of like Zoe. Um, sorry, I'm like trying to really quickly look at all these names. Cleo, Coco, <laughs> Doodle. Holly's not bad. I do like Holly. Um. I really like Maya for these, though. Yeah, you know what? No. I, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Maya. I like Maya. We're doing Maya. Come on. Uh, we're just gonna wear the ugly boots. They're not ugly in and of themselves, just with the rest of the gear. And I don't think we have the money to dye the gear even if we wanted to. Um, so, because of the trade-off with the gear, we've actually pretty much stayed where we were at, HP-wise. But... Anyway... Defeat those... We've got those two talking quests in the Oasis. But this, I think the gear we get from these quests, from defeating all these bosses, uh, will certainly give us some gold so we can dye um, our clothes. Uh, we'll look into all of that next time, though. We're going to leave this here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Legend Lore, out.